old, haunted, lonely, farmhouse I found in the middle of the woods. Cold, cold as all Sam Lloyd could feel when he stepped out of his broken-down car, into the edge of one of the many farms in this part of nowhere. Cold, it was a summer night for goodness sake. Sam had been driving home from a wild party when his car broke down. His house was in another town, a few miles from the party. The party had been in quite literally the middle of nowhere, but it was fun. Between the site of the party and the town was extensive farmland. Before his car broke down, Sam was cruising along, music blasting from his car radio and the heat jacked up to high. It was freezing outside, and it was night. But then, unfortunately, just as he was passing a corn farm, the upper right wheel got stuck in place. Sam, cursing, brought his car to the side of the road and sighed. Sam had waited for a few hours, but no cars had passed. Quite usual, because again, he was in the middle of nowhere. So he decided he would help himself. He spied a farmhouse in the middle of the cornfield, with a barn bordering it. Crickets chirped as he slid into the corn. He had no idea where he was. The corn was taller than him, and the leaves were starting to give him small cuts. They hurt, a lot. Twice he thought he heard the rustling behind him, but reasoned that it must have been a rodent. This lasted a while until he wandered into a tiny clearing. In the middle of it was a scarecrow. Something about the scarecrow unnerved Sam, but he couldn't place it. The scarecrow just looked strange. Sam touched the scarecrow and jerked his hand away as he touched something wet. He looked at his hand, but it was hard to see the color of the liquid because it was so dark. He reasoned it was water and kept going. Eventually he came up into a large clearing with the farmhouse in the middle. The barn lay off to the right. He tried the door of the farmhouse. Locked. He peered in the window but couldn't make anything out. It was dark inside the farmhouse. Sam called for the residents, but no one answered. He thought that maybe they had gone somewhere, but he saw a beat-up Ford pickup sitting in the middle of the driveway. He then thought that maybe they had another car. He peered into the window again but saw nothing. A wet drop hit his shoulder and it started storming. Suddenly, lightning flashed and Sam could see the interior of the house. For a split second, he saw everything, the blood on the floor, the broken farming tool next to the stairs, the mutilated bodies, piled in the corner, the bloody footprints, leading across the floor to the front door. Sam turned away, vomited, and staggered into the corn. Sam went back into the corn. Again he heard rustling and turned around but nothing was there. Finally, after walking around and getting small cuts from the corn every few seconds, he came back into the small clearing with the scarecrow. Only something was different. The scarecrow was stuck in a different pose than when he had last seen it. Also, the moon had appeared out of the cloud that had covered it, so he could see the face. There was a black bag covering its head, and from the bag leaked blood. Then, Sam heard more rustling behind him. Sam started running. Three days later, the police discovered Sam Lloyd's body. The body was nailed to a wooden pole in the middle of a small clearing in one of the local farms. Examination showed that Sam had been brutally murdered with a hacksaw. A bag was put on his face, and he was nailed to a pole. One of the officers compared the way the body was set up to a scarecrow. Searches of the farm led to the finding of more decomposing bodies in the farmhouse. The bodies were later found to be those of several drivers who went missing on that same road, along with the farm's original owner. The murderer has never been found.